Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, where I review books that inspire and challenge me. In this video, I want to share with you a book that has touched me deeply, The Power of Silence, Against the Dictatorship of Noise by Cardinal Robert Serra. This book is a profound conversation between the Cardinal and Nicolas Diat, a French journalist and author, about the importance and the beauty of silence in our noisy and distracted world. The book was written in a place of silence and solitude, the La Grande Chartreux, the famous Carthusian monastery in the French Alps. Cardinal Sarah, a Catholic figure from Guinea, West Africa, has served the church in many ways, such as leading the Vatican section that deals with worship and sacraments. In this book, Cardinal Sarah explores some fundamental questions, how can we find truth, beauty, or love without silence? How can we develop wisdom, creativity, or holiness without listening to God in our hearts? How can we cultivate silence in our busy and noisy lives? How can we enhance our prayer and worship with silence? How can we face God's silence in times of evil and suffering? Cardinal Sarah answers these questions with clarity, wisdom, and eloquence. He draws from his own personal experience of silence as a young priest in Africa, as well as from the teachings of the Church Fathers, the Saints, and the Popes. He also shares some insights from his conversations with Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, who wrote an afterword for this book. The Power of Silence is not just a book about silence. It is a book about God, who speaks to us in silence. It is a book about ourselves, who are made for silence. It is a book about our relationship with God and others, which is nourished by silence. It is a book that challenges us to rediscover the power of silence in our lives. I highly recommend this book to anyone who wants to deepen their spiritual life and their understanding of God. It is not an easy read, but it is a rewarding one. It will make you think, pray, and appreciate silence more than ever before. Let me give you some examples of what I learned from this book. First, I learned that silence is not just the absence of noise. Silence is a positive reality that opens us to God and His presence. Silence is a way of being attentive to God and His Word. Silence is a way of expressing our love and reverence for God. Silence is a way of allowing God to transform us and heal us. As Cardinal Sarah says, silence is not an absence. On the contrary, it is the manifestation of a presence, the most intense of all presences. Second, I learned that silence is essential for prayer and worship. Silence helps us to enter into communion with God and to listen to His voice. Silence helps us to prepare our hearts for the encounter with God in the sacraments. Silence helps us to adore God and to praise Him for His goodness. Silence helps us to offer ourselves to God and to receive His grace. As Cardinal Sarah says, the liturgy is the door to our union with God. If the Eucharistic celebrations are transformed into human self-celebrations, the peril is immense, for God disappears. Third, I learned that silence is also necessary for our relationship with others. Silence helps us to respect and appreciate others as persons created by God. Silence helps us to communicate better and to avoid misunderstandings and conflicts. Silence helps us to be more compassionate and understanding towards others who are suffering or in need. Silence helps us to be more humble and generous in our service to others. As Cardinal Sarah says, the true revolution comes from silence, it leads us toward God and others so as to place ourselves humbly and generously at their service. 
These are just some of the lessons that I learned from this book. There are many more that I could share with you, but I don't want to spoil the book for you. I encourage you to read it for yourself and discover its richness and depth. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more book reviews. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of this book or any other books you want me to review. Until next time, happy reading.